guys, I'm Matt Knight from MattKnightOfficial.com. I'm going to show you how bad posture can ruin your abs and how to fix it. This is my awesome client Imogen, and um, although she's in wicked shape at the moment, she's really having trouble getting a flat stomach. Um, I'm going to show you some reasons why. Turn to the side for me. So, as you can see, Imogen's posture is in the perfect at the moment. And um, if you look at the line of her pelvis here, you can probably see that it's slightly angled. Um, so, one of the reasons why she can't get a flat stomach is because of this. So, I think it has an hip for If you rotate your hips forwards, so hers are already slightly rotated forwards, hence the arch and the back when she comes back to neutral, so we go back to neutral. Lovely, and if you try and tilt them up the other way, that's it, keep spine at all. Lovely. So as you can see, she's actually having trouble moving the hips in, in rotation anyway. So ideally we want to be able to move forwards and backwards through anterior and posterior rotation. Um, now the reason why she can't do this is going to be likely that our hip flexors are really tight. So the hip flexor muscle attaches on the front of the quad around here and it runs over the top of the hips and it attaches like a suspension bridge to the spine and to the back of the hips. So if those muscles are tight, they're going to stop rotation of the pelvis the way you want it to go. So, as you can see from the diagram here, the psoas muscles or hip flexors attach on the top of your femur, that's your upper leg bone, and they run over the top of your hips, uh, through the middle of your body, and attach on the back wall and lower portion of your spine. Now, if these muscles are tight, they can cause anterior rotation of the hips, which will make your stomach or your abdominal wall bow outwards. So that's the reason why you can't get a flat stomach. So, step number one, we're going to stretch the hip flexor muscle. Best way to do that is down into this position. If you bring the spine up nice and tall and then drive everything forward while staying up nice and tall. And remember, you want to open up this joint. So, this muscle here is the one we try to stretch. So, if you pull your spine up nice and tall and turn yourself towards me, that's really going to help you get a stretch on the hip flexor muscle. So, 30 seconds or more will deactivate a muscle when you can do this pre-exercise. Okay, so exercise number two, I'm going to show you how to hopefully get rid of some of that anterior rotation of the hips. So, if you put your hands underneath your lower back at the place of your belly button, so if you were to draw a line straight from your belly button, you'd be able to touch your hands in the middle. Right, so we're going to get rid of that arch, so if you contract your abs, rotating the hips to squash your lower back down, lovely, and then very, very slowly, just lift one foot off the floor, and down, and the other one, stopping at just around the points of the ceiling, and down. Lovely. So ideally you don't want to be transferring away from foot to foot. Awesome. And your lower back should be squashed under control of your abs. Okay, so to recap, if we stretch the hip flexor muscle, and we tighten up the lower abdominal muscle, and coordinate so that your legs can work independently whilst your abs are stabilised, that should hopefully sort out your posture. For any more hints, tips and advice, go to mattnightofficial.com.